Hey beautiful people, how y'all doing? Hopefully you guys are doing wonderful. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Michelle. And if you are returning, welcome back. I'm here today to show you guys a couple of wigs that I picked up. You guys know that on this channel, I have made wig reviews for years. But I've noticed that in the recent years, I haven't gotten as many views on my wig videos, and I'm just not sure if that's something you guys are really trying to see. So I've definitely slowed down on my wig videos, but I still love wigs, I still wear them, and every now and then I will come and show you guys like a compilation like this. So today I have four different wigs that I've purchased, and these are all wigs that when I received them, online they looked one way, and when I got them, I did not feel like it worked for me. So I wanted to share them with you guys just to see what you guys think. If you happen to own these units, if there's a way that you style them, maybe you can let me know. Or if you were looking at this, if you've had your eye on it for a while, you can see what they look like. I wanted to make things real neutral and real fair, so I'm wearing black. I have on like a neutral makeup look. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. Meet Wella. This is a very interesting style to me. For the longest time I've been looking for a very cute dreadlock faux lock style and I came across this wig. When I got it I was like wow these really do look like locks. They're so well done. This one is cute but I'm having a hard time I feel making it work. I have it in the color 1B. That's the motto. And it does come in a variety of colors, but I wanted something really natural. The parting on this wig is really deep, you guys. It's very, very thin, so you don't get a lot of parting space. But it's also, like, very indented in the wig. So, like, you pretty much have to wear it as a side part. Just an FYI. Here we have a closer look. So the parting is really natural looking, and I like that. The wig does give you a very realistic vibe. quite cute I think if I added some of those little like beady things that people put on the locks I think it'll spice it up a little bit more another thing is that it is layered so like there's locks here up at the top and then all the way here at the bottom so there's nothing like really in the middle it doesn't go from short to middle to long it has a pretty drastic drop but I don't know I could just be being picky which I think very 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 interesting wig I think it's perfect for the summertime and it's perfect for people who want to know what they would look like with locks I've always been very interested in locks just don't know if I commit to it but this is exactly like what I would want my hair to look like but maybe just layered a little bit differently so let me know let me know what you think about Miss Wella right here <laughs> Whenever I put this wig on, I think black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. This is a very, very blonde wig. I'm someone who enjoys blonde wigs, but usually I'm more leaning towards like the honey blonde or like the ash blonde. This, this, <laughs> this is like a, this is like a bleach blonde and I feel like it's a bit much. The style makes it a little bit more doable because it has like the ombre. It has some like blacks and a little bit of honey, a little bit of brown up in here, and then it just kind of gets very, very light. It does have this pretty little water wave that I like. I like the kind of just like beachy flow of it. I honestly think it'd be a lot better in just black, especially for the summertime because it's so lightweight and it's like the perfect length. But the color, I'm a little afraid of it. Now as far as like the lighting in this video goes, I made sure to use very natural lighting without a lot of sun because I don't want you getting tricked. A lot of times people who film on YouTube will use lights, like actual studio lighting, and it does throw off the color of the wig, throws off the color of their complexion, and you don't really know what their actual skin tone is. So yeah, y'all, this is... A very cute wig and I feel like anybody can wear any color I believe color is restricted to the color of your skin but I feel like everything needs to work together like your skin complexion the hair color and the hairstyle this is the model and she's about my complexion rocking it beautifully let me go ahead and spin around for you Obviously you know why I was kind of hesitant about this one. 
as you can see. It's very cute, very lively, but it has a personality of its own. And this is not a lace front wig, just so you know. It is a full lace. No, I guess it's not even that. It's a regular wig. It's just like a normal wig with combs. And it's very curly. You can see how springy and sort of like loose and vibrant these curls are. And as you can see, it kind of starts off like bigger up in the top. There's a lot of density here. And then when it gets down to the bottom, it's a little bit more like tightly crunched in, I guess you could say. I don't know how to describe that, but it's more pressed in and a lot shorter in the back. I like the style, but I feel a little bit like broccoli. Just slightly. It's just a bit much for me. I feel like if I kind of like brushed out some of these curls, it would look a little bit more realistic because it wouldn't be as shiny. I could also take my shears and kind of like try and do a little something something in the front, but I'm just not the one. I don't like messing with hair at all. You guys know that. I don't like messing with my wigs. Like it needs to come the way I'm going to wear it because I'm not skilled in that area can't really fix it so this is pretty much what it's gonna be but yeah I could take off a little bit here in this section it's cute though I feel like it's really good if you have this kind of personality it's very fun I love it but am I gonna wear it I don't know let me go ahead and turn for y'all is my favorite way to wear like afro hair or natural hair for my face shape I like this look and this is kind of like how I would want my hair to look if I had it like an afro style the way it just sort of frames and shapes the face I think it's so pretty but we shall see let me know if you guys have any suggestions on what I could do to spice this up a bit I know some people will like take out some of their real hair and do like a like a half of half down type of thing you definitely have enough hair to do like whatever you wanted to do with this if you were the type of person who knows how to like style hair you could definitely leave some of your hair out and maybe do like a cute little something something with a headband I think you could play with this a little bit there's a little bit of hope with this hairstyle it is cute I like it it's cute All right, y'all, so <laughs> it's like from one extreme to another, right? This wig, I loved it when I saw it on the model and on other YouTubers, but when I put it on, I just wasn't sure. I mean, I could barely get it on because I have a big head and I have quite a bit of hair now, and I feel like this wig is just made for someone with a really small head. And I feel like a lot of the short wigs are like that. It's like, they're not made for big heads, which sucks because I like short hair, but I don't know. What do you guys think? I think the style is just so cute, but it's like barely hanging on. And I honestly don't have my hair like braided down or even like flat. It is a little puffy right now. I suppose if I took the time to really just get my hair as close as I can to my scalp, this would look normal. I think they did a good job of making it at least look realistic. So I like the cut. This is where it gets like, <laughs> Real sketchy. I definitely do feel like somebody's auntie, but I was trying to look like an auntie. Like a cute Tony Braxton auntie. I actually think it's cute and I think I could probably like put my best effort in and try and rock it and my scarce edges and everything else. If you're someone who likes really short hair, I think this hairstyle is very cute. Especially if you have a small head, you are good to go. This is a model and it comes in a really nice variety of colors. Like look at the back. These girls are wearing like a periwinkle color and like some confetti looking stuff. But you can totally rock it out and make it funky and make it your own. It just has to fit, right? <laughs> so let me know what y'all think. Let me know if you own it or if you know of a really cute short bob style like this that is big head friendly or big hair friendly. How everyone look at it. All right, my loves, we are done. Thank you for letting me model these looks for you guys. Let me know if there's one that you particularly liked or thought actually worked out. Or, you know, let me know if there's some that you just thought, mm-mm. 
it's a no. It's a full blown no. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and being a part of my YouTube family. I love y'all so much. So, so much. And I appreciate the support. Let me know if you have any questions about anything. And if not, then I'll see you guys in the next video. Big kisses to you all. Mwah. Peace, love, and light.